The carefree days of summer are coming to an end. Are they carefree? Because I found it to be quite <laughs> stressful, if you ask me. Uh, there's still a time to start a great summer read. I think that for a lot of moms, if you're a mom or your dad, it's after the kids go back to school that you could start to read again. No? Right. Local authors Liz and Lisa are back with the August Book Club picks. Yeah, they can't read in the summer. Can you? Well, you can. Well, my kids are older, so yeah. I can, they drive. They so drive. I can read. <laughs> so you can read. Okay, take us through. You always bring really good uh, books and choices for us. What do you have? First up, we have The Puzzle Master. So this is for fans of The Da Vinci Code, which I love. It's about um, this guy named Mike, who in high school had a brain injury that made him like a savant in, the, in terms of like patterns and numbers. He's like a genius now. So he's actually known as The Puzzle Master. He does puzzle books and puzzled for the New York Times. So he's called uh, to visit this prisoner, Jess, who's um, serving a 30-year sentence for killing her boyfriend in this at this um, kind of creepy estate. So he goes to see her, and she hands him this puzzle. She mm. hasn't spoken to anyone in years. Half-done puzzle. And this puzzle leads him on this journey um, where he's obviously trying to solve something. He's got people chasing the, him. It's... It's really great. Like, it's like a you, mystery. It, it, it okay. is a mystery, and it's also just really fast-paced. I think it's a great palate cleanser. If you've kind, if you're in a reading slump, this is an amazing okay. book to okay. read. Okay. What are your emojis to describe the yeah, book? Yeah. The first one is a puzzle piece. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and so this next one is a doll. So um, trigger warning: if dolls scare you, you may want to skip this book. Oh. Um, oh. But there is a doll situation going on okay. in there that's pretty serious. Um, and then the third. Third is um, this guy, this emoji. I don't know what he's doing, but I feel like he represents how I was feeling toward My the end of the shot. book. He's like, what? <laughs> okay. Like, so. Okay, what's the next one? All right, so I have The Last Word by Taylor Adams, mm -hmm. and this is a story of Emma, and she is house-sitting at this remote house, um, kind of off the beaten path, and she reads a book that she does not like. So she goes online and writes, a terrible review and publishes it. Well, the author does not like that very much, and so he comes after her. So it's this really interesting cat. Are we allowed to do that? Um, uh. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, if it's really bad, I might. Um, it's this crazy cat and mouse game that okay. goes on while they're there, and she doesn't know like where he is and what's going on, and it's so creepy. But it's it's like it's like a movie. You just can't stop watching it. You can't stop reading, and the end is... Very shocking. Okay, your emojis. Okay, my emojis are house. House, <laughs> yes. Okay. House, house, and okay. then I've got a writer. Writer. She sent her a bad review. And, and then, then I another? also what? have. Sweet. How weird. You can use the same emoji. We have as the can. exact same emoji. <laughs> I didn't see that you used it. I didn't that. see that. And then I like uh -huh. actually forgot she, that's what I chose, me. and then it popped up. So Fine. that's weird. We make the rules. So that is weird. We can do what we want to do. So we did the the yes. mystery, and then we did the like creepy. Yeah. Please tell me this is a love story. Um, <laughs> no, but it's very summery. Okay. This is our buddy read. Um, I listened to it. Lisa read it. It's called Bad Summer People, and it is about some bad summer people. <laughs> so it takes place on um, Fire Island and it's an, actually a fictional town and it, it starts off with a dead body so it's kind of like Big Little Lies if you like Big Little Lies where it starts off there and then goes backwards to the beginning of summer so the whole time you're like who is the body like what's like going on this too yes yes yeah. so it, it revolves around these there's a lot of different narratives but it does revolve around these two couples okay the husbands have been friends since childhood um, and they're intertwined with each other in a very interesting way um, but it's really what I love about this book is all the characters are horribly unlikable but this is so <laughs> fun and delicious <laughs> to read it's like a guilty <laughs> pleasure okay. your yes. emoji to um, so the first one is the beach um, and then the second is a tennis ball because everything revolves around this doubles tennis tournament that takes place at the racket club toward the end of uh, summer and uh, these people take it very seriously. seriously. Okay. And then I'm trying out some new emojis. <laughs> so this, this guy, he's like, uh, these people suck, but I am loving <laughs> reading this book. And uh, that's kind of what he's saying. You guys are fun. <laughs> uh, okay, if I had to pick one, I, I don't do creepy, I don't do puzzles. Yes, so, you know. you'll like that. <laughs> I'll add this to my collection. Ladies, thank you for being here. You. Uh, we do have a link of all of these books on our website, foxsidesandiego.com. You just click the scene on tab. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back.